One of the first things everyone has to do when starting to code in Java is setting the class path. Here I talk about how to do that on Windows. But first let me talk about what exactly is a class path and why do you need it. A class path is a parameter in the Java virtual machine which lets the VM search for your class files and jars in specific folders rather than trying to find them in every folder on our system. So as the Oracle site states, you can run your Java applications just fine without setting the path environment variable or you can optionally set it as a convenience. So now we know what is a class path. The other question is why do we need it? Well, setting your class path has a big advantage. You end up with organized code just for the reason that you would have specific folders for all the Java related work. No messing around with all other things having to be together. How exactly do we set it on Windows? So first, you should create your folder that you want to save your user defined classes into. Like I would do here. So let me just go into any on the drives on, on my system. And let's say I have the C drive. I'll double click it or open it and then uh, I'll just uh, create a new folder here. And I can call it anything. Let me call it Java programs. So you can name it anything you want other than Java programs, of course. So I would be uh, saving all my Java related uh, work that is the Java files inside this folder. And now I want all my classes to be executed from this folder, right? So it would be convenient for me. So the second step is to right click on my computer and then click on properties. So let us go to my computer and click on properties, right click properties. Then we click on advanced system settings. Under the advanced tab, we click on environment variables. And then here under user variables for the currently logged user, that is, for example, it's showing user variables for the currently logged user. On my system, it's back. On your systems, it would be anything else. That is the name of the currently logged in user. So under these user variables, we click on new which opens up the dialog to create a new variable. As you can see, we have two things to fill up here. In the first text box, we enter the name of our new variable as class path. So let's name it as class path. And in the second box, we enter the path to the folder where we want the VM, that is the virtual machine, to find our class files. For this example, I enter the path to the folder which I just created in the C directory on my system and I named it to Java programs. So I can just type in C colon slash Java programs. Right? So then we click on OK and OK and then again OK. If in case your command prompt was open during or before doing these steps, you would need to restart your CMD for the changes to take place. Right? So that's it. You should be able to compile and execute your Java code from your desired locations after following these simple steps. Thank you.